Welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway, the improvisation show where rehearsed is a dirty word and dirty words are over-rehearsed. Featuring tonight from America, the super cool Greg Proops. From Canada, the coolly super Colin Mochrie. From America and Canada, the super duper Ryan Stiles. And from England, the super califragilistic expialidocious Tony Slattery. Thank you for the Okay, now. This, um, this first game is for all four contestants. If you'd like to come on down, uh, we'll start with Greg and Tony in the middle. And it's a round called Questions Only, uh, which is called that because they must only communicate by asking questions. <coughs> Any affirmative <coughs> statement will be buzzed out and the person will be replaced by the person behind them. And we keep going until we have an outright winner or we're just completely bored. Uh, so, okay. <laughs> oh, we just, we've just got to the end. Um, <laughs> so, you, it's, the scene is you're going to the vet, which in England means a veterinary surgeon, rather somebody who's served in Vietnam. So, uh, <laughs> going, going to the vet, uh, questions only, where you go. Thank you, Mr. Pedantic. That, that wasn't a question, you're out. Okay, so, you go. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what's wrong with your animal? Can you help me? What is it? Can't you tell? I'm tired of it. Haven't you ever seen a Burmese cat before? Do I look as if I have? <laughs> Why are you asking me? Aren't you the one with the problems? Doesn't the cat look sick? Is it dead? Do I know? <laughs> well, why ask me? Do I look like a doctor? What have you been feeding it? Today? <laughs> 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 How long has he had this fever? This cat? <laughs> Do you see any other cats? <laughs> Can't you tell I'm perturbed? Is he Siamese? Does he look Siamese? Are you Siamese? Are you trying to get my goat? Don't we know each other? <laughs> Weren't we in class together? Are you Phil Johnson? Are you Bob Philly Foo? How the hell are you? Silly <laughs> day, appreciate it. Thank you very much, Ellen. Do you think you can save him, Bob Billy Boo? Do you think I have the talent? Isn't that what you're here for? Is four years medical school too little? Is five billion dollars enough to pay this fee? Do you have the money? Do you need it now? American cash? Will you take a bad check? Is it your check? <laughs> Is that what you want? Do you think I can help him? Won't you help, Fifi? Will you assist me? Would you like me to? Could I have the scalpel? Is this the one you want? Does blood scare you? <laughs> Is that his internal organs? Do you see that? Are you sure this isn't something else? Would you like to keep it? May I eat it? Wouldn't it make a great necklace? Do you have any fondue? <laughs> I think I've turned there. Well, you're the winner, Greg. I can't tell you more about that. Well, um, after a... Uh, well, after a bad start, Greg came storming through to win uh, five million points. As we move on to a game called Old Job, New Job, and this is for Greg, Colin and Ryan. And the idea of this is, uh, Greg and Colin, you're going to The Undertaker, to, uh, or Mortician, or whatever you call it in America. And uh, Ryan is the Mortician <laughs> Undertaker, but he used to be a used car salesman. So, and he has to bring some of that into his performance thereof. I told you we shouldn't have fed Uncle Jerry that bad chili. I know. <laughs> I feel so awful. It was his birthday and everything. Well, now it's his death day. <laughs> All right. Well, Ironic in a way, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny, too. <laughs> don't want to pressure you. Let me know when you're ready. Oh, hey, excuse me. Yes. No, no. We're ready. Oh, we're ready. What can I do for you? Well, this is our Uncle Jerry, and oh. he seems to not be living anymore. Quite a short man, huh? Probably looking for something in a compact. Walk over here. Oh. <laughs> Take a look at this. Oh, well, what do you think? Well, I don't know. Ah, <clears throat> uh, this one doesn't seem... Kick it if you want. <clears throat> Give it a kick. It doesn't... How does that feel to you? <laughs> Get in. See how she feels to you. <laughs> Relax. Lay on back. <laughs> Uh, well, it seems comfortable. There's I one over here you might want to take well, a look here. at. This is genuine. Oh, there's still a body in here. Oh. Well, this is actually a little old lady that was only driven once every Sunday. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, I think Uncle Jerry would like that, don't you? I, do they all come with radios? Hey, radios, <laughs> chrome, everything you want. We Listen, got it here. It's not too, too tacky to ask. Could we put Jerry and get a cheaper price if we put him in with someone else? Mm, I'll have to check with the boss. But I don't <laughs> think that'll be a problem. Okay. Have we got a sale? What do you think? Check my head. Yeah. Be my friend. All right. <laughs> well done. Excellent. Yeah. That's, um... All right. Okay. Well, I, I enjoyed that, but unfortunately I can't give you any points. As we move on to a game called Superheroes for all four contestants, but uh, starting with Greg Proops. Now, he's a superhero. We're going to decide what sort he is. He'll be joined by others, and he'll decide who his next companion, what sort of superhero that person is, and so on down the line. 
so what sort of superhero do you think he is? He's, no, like Spider-Man, but Superfly. that has already done, I'm afraid. Superfly. What's that? Superfly. Superfly. Oh, what was your one? Flossy. Captain Floppy. Captain Floppy's rather nice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Floppy. <laughs> Have we dated? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, I'll be here. Yeah, and not likely to, apparently. So, Captain Floppy is trapped somewhere. Where would Captain Floppy be trapped? In a what? <laughs> in an elevator. You're trapped in an elevator or, um, or lift for people like me. Uh, so, away you go. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I can't get out! I have no arms and legs to move hardly! I'm trapped in a lift! An elevator if you're American! <laughs> I hope my super friends arrive soon! I could use some help! help. Sorry I'm late! Help. I had to run up the cable! <laughs> You've arrived, man who taps you on the shoulder to fake you out, man. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> hey, we're stuck on the fourth floor. Don't huh? do that. Fourth floor. Yes, we're stuck on the floor. Never get. Oh, no, no. Two. Oh, I thought you were the other one. No, it's me. Well, hurry up and help. We're trapped in an elevator. Thank God you're here, drunk tour guide guy. Uh, you can see the cable here. What? What's <laughs> <laughs> up? I'm oh. sorry I'm late, I was having my prostate engraved. <laughs> Thank God you're here, misconception boy. <laughs> what are we doing on a cruise liner then? We're, there. We're trapped in an elevator, misconception boy. You've got to get us out. What do you mean trampoline? I've never been to Beecham in my life. <laughs> no, you daft trap. We're trapped in an elevator. This carpet's lovely. Is it blue? <laughs> Stop that. This is an emergency situation. You can see that. Wait a well, minute. I must go. It's my time of the month. Take care. <laughs> I'll just open the doors. That was simple. Thank God. <laughs> now we can escape. Stop tapping me, God damn it. Uh, I'll just stay with you all day. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. And it's a miracle. I'm out. Now I can go to the underwear department and buy those baggies I've had my eye on. Well done. Excellent. Yeah. That's, um... I think, I think a lot of points there, a lot of points there, even for Captain Floppy, as we move on to a game called Sound Effects. Uh, this is for Ryan and Colin. Uh, Colin is going to perform an everyday activity. Uh, we can mime it, in fact, but the noise is going to be provided by Ryan using this, uh, what we call a microphone. And what's your everyday activity? You're on the beach. Mime that out, and the sound effects are provided miraculously by Ryan. <sighs> I just don't know how you can be beaten tonight, Ryan, but we'll work out a way later. And now we come to a game called World's Worst for all four contestants. I come forward on the World's Worst step and step forward as you think of examples of the world's worst thing for a doctor or surgeon to say. Doctor or surgeon to say, away you go. All righty. Oh, I'm sorry, this was a rectal thermometer. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Is this gerbil yours? <laughs> All right, just one more push, Mrs. Phillips. 24! 35! <laughs> Uh, we use a very sort of gentle anaesthetic here. <clears throat> Go to sleep. <laughs> I have to say, Mr. Johnson, your wife is one hot-looking babe. <laughs> now, the penis is the droopy thing, right? <laughs> Usually. Am I taking something in or pulling something out? <laughs> With friends like that, who needs enemas? <laughs> Okay, Mrs. Johnson, if you just put your breasts there and <laughs> That anesthetic looks pretty good. Do you mind? <laughs> Excuse me for one minute. Knee bones connected to the... <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Let's there. Thank you. Sir, for lunch, while I work out the points for that game, I will take it back. Sure, that might. According to my records, they go around at 33 and a third revolutions per minute. But now let's go on to a game called Props it's for Tony and Greg. First of all, you've got to come up with many different ways of using these items, as you can think of in the time available. Whereas um, Colin and Ryan, you've got to come up with as many different ways as you can. Rather well, flimsy item. And I'll buzz I get the idea of what you're doing. Uh, starting with you over there, Tony and Greg. Hello, and welcome to Sanitary Wear for Mama Cass Scully. <laughs> Five-letter word for anger. <laughs> you forgot to draw my pupils, you bastard! It's, it's a, a story, story of a lovely lady. I don't believe we've met. I'm the Secretary of Defense. <laughs> Reagan. <laughs> I tell you, this film's gonna be really big. <laughs> it's now, ladies and gentlemen, the man with the biggest smile in the world. <laughs> 24! 32! You gotta move on. We've gotta move on. Uh, well, well, look, look for either Colin and Ryan were gonna win, but in fact, Tony and Greg in the end lost. So we're now going to a game called uh, Fixed Expression. This is for all four contestants. Um, but the idea of this is that you each have a fixed expression on your face uh, throughout the game. Uh, so let's just work out the uh, expression first. Well, Greg, you've got to permanently look furious. Colin, you must look ecstatic. Ryan, panicky. And Tony, shocked. 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 So you've got your expressions worked out. Now, <laughs> I want to st <laughs> I'm sure I've seen you like that before somewhere, but I can't, I can't remember where it was. <laughs> okay, let's have Tony and Colin in the car. And the other two are hitchhikers who are being picked up. So you can start off and be picked up, first of all, but... It's a lovely day. We're lost, you idiot. Oh, don't be too grumpy. I can't help it. We've been on the road for 15 hours. What's wrong now, darling? Should we pick this person up? No, don't pick him up. Oh, oh great. Thanks for picking me up. Oh, that's one on my side. Hey, do you mind giving me a lift? Come on in. Thanks for picking me up. I was getting really worried it was going to get dark. Or anything as far as hit it, bro. Thanks, That'd this is fine. a good help. Uh-huh. Oh. Don't hey. you know you never pick up anyone on the road? Oh, no, it's such a fast pump. It's a beautiful car you got here. That's yeah, wonderful. Cigarette. Oh, thanks. Don't try anything. There's a gun. I'm 
on a holiday, I'm going to Euro Disney. Oh, I've been there before. It's great. Yeah. Euro Disney sucks. I'm having the time of my life. I know. Let's have some music. Okay, thank you very much. Hold well on. Um, uh, it, A bizarre game, that. <laughs> you can stop now. You can stop. And when I click my fingers, snap out of it. That's it, fine. No, okay. <laughs> well, it never fails, that game. Fails to amaze, perplex. Uh, let's now go to a game called Party Quirks. It's for all four contestants, but mainly Tony Slattery is the host of a party. All the others are guests of the party in front of each guest. There's an envelope inside the guest, or inside the envelope, rather, is a suggestion for a way of behaving. Um, and uh, each guest has to follow that, and Tony has to work out how, how they're behaving, what quirk they've been allocated. So, Tony, you're getting out ready. The others are going to come in the order Greg, Colin and Ryan. Uh, once I make my doorbell noise, is the party underway? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Any music on or food or drinks? No, it's just very quite a fair. Just very, yeah. <laughs> That's why you're not invited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, that'll be my first guest. Hello, Greg, come on in. Dude, what's up, Rahim? Hey, screaming flat, man. Look, shredding snacks. Woo! Da -da 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 Whoa! Hey, got any punch? Whoosh. Are you Margaret Rutherford? <laughs> Dude! <laughs> okay, I'll just. Oh, here's another. Hey, guess. Joe, I'll be back door. to you in a moment. And whatever you do, don't surf off. Come on in. You've been to my parties before. <laughs> I have a... Um... <laughs> Hello, come in. This is someone who thinks it's a public <laughs> urinal. <laughs> no. <How's> it... <laughs> <laughs> yes, would you like a can of drink or something? <laughs> <laughs> Nice dance. Do it again. Mm -hmm. Everyone. <laughs> oh, you're you're just you're just full of fireworks tonight, aren't you? Yeah. All right. All right. Well done. All right. Okay. Well done. So very well done, Tony. Very well, Tony. Very. Very good, very good. That's the first time we've got those so quickly. Uh, shame it's a non-scoring round tonight. As we go to a game called Helping Hands, and now uh, Ryan and Tony will be acting out a situation here, but to make it easy for Ryan, uh, he hasn't got to use his hands, why no? Because Colin is going to be providing his hands for use by thrusting his arms into Ryan's armpits, in a way which has become familiar to all lovers of this game and also to the many more people who just watch it in this show. Now, the idea of this, Tony, as you're getting out of the little props, you've gone to the double person there for a haircut and shave. Um, right. You're wearing a wig, that's, that's excellent. And please be careful of that wig, because... Uh, <laughs> be careful of the wig, because I'd like to take that home with me afterwards, uh, <laughs> just as a small experiment. There, uh, where you go. We're going to give you a little cut here, a little cut, but first, a little impression. Zigo! Zigo! Oh, we always laugh at that one. All right, let's start the cut. La, la, la. Oh, jeez, I forgot. I wear the glasses, don't I? I forgot all about that. I can't see yes. a thing. Right here in my pocket. I think I'll grab them and just pull them on for me. Ah, there we, there we go. We just put these on. Real. Oh, okay. There we go. Now, let's give you a good cut. Huh? Yes, How's your please. mommy? Uh, she's dead. And your papa? Dead. Oh, that's a good. You know, you haven't been here for many years. Let's just have a little bit of aftershave here. A little bit of aftershave. We like to put it on before we shave. That's the thing. Oh, let's have... Oh. Mm, let's have a little sip of that. Oh. That's a real aftershave. Well, let's just get the meal here. Let's have a look. Oh, a little toilet paper. I've got to wipe the tongue a little. Paper, the wipe in the tongue. Oh, boy. Will you oh, please oh, hurry up and I'm shave I'm sorry. Me. A shavy? It's yes. a shavy you want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we've got the shavy cream right here. Just a little. Just a little bit will do. Little bit. Little. And down she goes. Okay, you know, Tony. <laughs> hey, you know, those ears look a bit furry, too. We put a little there. <laughs> we get you down. You get the razor here. Let's see if the razor sharp. Right here on the razor. Let's see how sharp she is. 
Ow! Ow! Oh, boy, that's a sharpie. Okay, nice and careful we shave it. Nice and... Uh, let's just get rid of these glasses. I don't need them for this kind of distance. Okay, now we shave you real nice. Oh, that feel good, huh? Yes, very good, thank you. A little bit. Oh, my God, it's almost quitting time. We gotta get this done. I gotta get out of here. Okay, there we go. A little bit there, a little bit there, and a little aftershave for you. A little bit aftershave to top it off. Right here in the green bottle. Uh, screw it. Screw the aftershave. More cream. More cream on the top of here. We're gonna shave you all. Thank you. Uh, okay. Well done. Well, it's certainly a very bizarre game, that. Uh, I'm not sure it deserves any points, so I'll give it one each to Greg, who wasn't in it. Now we come to a game called Hoedown. This is for all four contestants, and they have to just step forward and make up a song on the spot in the form of a hoedown. This will be done with the assistance of Richard Ranch the piano. Now, can somebody suggest one of the pleasures in life this hoedown could be about? God, sex. sex. Oh, what the hell, let's do sex. We've, uh, <laughs> we've, we've, we've plumbed the depth already tonight, so... So, sex, the sex hoedown. Take it away, Greg. And we're ending up with Tony. I'm a randy bugger, I really get around I like to have a shag with everyone in town I have lots of fun, I'm as happy as can be And that's cause my name is Tony Slattery <laughs> I love making love, I do it every day My girlfriend's a contortionist, we do it every way It's really quite remarkable, the ways that she can bend She also is a psychic, she foresaw her own end <laughs> Living in the country, there's really not much to do I love to grab many things and have a real good screw I guess it's really bad, I guess it's kinda sad But my girlfriend looks at me and says, hey, you're not bad <laughs> I'm a little kinky, my panties are made of fur I like to stay in evenings, just me and my cucumber And then I pull my pants down and start to paint my tush And dress up in leather and squat on Barbara Bush so Okay, well that's, uh, well I think, I think if we're still on the air, I think it's time to stop. <laughs> and uh, I'll make that the last game, I've had quite enough. And totaling up the points, I see that there's a joint winners this week, uh, Colin Mockery and Ryan Stiles. So, well done, um, Colin and Ryan. And you've got to do the credits in the style of, style of my choosing, and can you do it in the style of two cheerleaders? Okay, so just remind, it reminds me to thank uh, Greg Proof, Colin Mockery, Ryan Stiles, Tony Slattery, Richard Vance, and me, Clive, and saying goodnight. Good night. Buddy! What's the show that we adore? Who's the show on Channel 4? Philip Pope, Philip Pope, title music! Nay, only Newfield, Ryan Manager! <laughs> Production team, production team, look at them produce. Videotape, McCoo, I can't pronounce her name, she's loose. The Graham Story Designer, flop, flop, pom, pom. Who's the guy we love a ton? Producer, Patterson.